Hello friends, this video I am going to demonstrate how you can create sales dashboard with monthly sales and party wise sale in Power BI using tally data. So let's begin. Okay, so I am going to export this tally data and import it into my Azure SQL database which is very easy to create. So I already demonstrated this in one of the video okay, and so I already created the database tables inside that and adjusted in the utility config.json this azure sql so you can refer that video okay so let me run this utility and synchronize the data okay so let's run and synchronize it, it. so it may take few minutes depending on the volume of the data you have in the tally okay. and i already power bi open so Let's wait for the synchronization to happen. Okay, so. okay, in the meantime, let's go to the Power BI and start with the export. Just uh, open that window because even that window sometimes takes a bit uh, time to load. And here we are to select. Okay, so friend synchronization already completed. You can see that window exited. Okay, so let's wait for this window to come. Okay, Azure, Azure SQL database. Okay, and the server name you have to copy from here. Okay, and database name is TallyDB. mode should be import so let's connect database username whatever username which you created while you are creating server and the password you gave okay let me connect okay. so you can see connected now we require four tables to import so group and ledger so that we can filter out only sales related tables and transaction and sorry voucher and debit credits related of the vouchers okay and let's click transform data because uh, we need to do some few modification before we load this data into power bi okay now we need to go to ledger table now issues that profit loss account does a adder to the hierarchy so it has no parent ideally here some group name should come but this is a special account which has no group so we will just remove the empty row so that this account gets removed anyway nothing is debited and credited to profit loss so we need not worry and this might even break so that's why relationship so that's why i'm removing it okay now let's close and apply so that this data gets loaded into Microsoft Power BI okay and from here we would start with the modeling step okay this was about the loading of the data next step is modeling of this data okay okay now please remember one step by default Power BI would attempt to detect some relationship in this table and I have seen 99% the wrong relationships are deta detected. So let's go to manage relationships step and remove the existing relationships because most probably that would be wrong. This one. Okay. And let's manually now create relationships. So let me nicely arrange this data or the table, sorry, not data. Okay and let's start apply rela relationships okay so first relationship is between our group and ledger so parent field in ledger is basically group name okay so let me find a parent so parent is basically name of the group okay one too many okay now each voucher has multiple debit credit in transaction accounting so guid is the connecting field so let me locate GUID to GUID. 
सो वन वाउचर हैज मल्टीपल डेबिट क्रेडिट मल्टीपल स्टार एंड इवन दिस टू टेबल्स हैव रिलेशनशिप लेजर एंड अकाउंटिंग ओके सो इन अकाउंटिंग टेबल द लेजर नेम इज सेम एज द नेम ऑफ द लेजर सो आई विल ड्रैक दिस टू द लेजर वन टू मैनी ओके इवन दिस रिलेशनशिप करेक्ट लेट मी सेव दिस फाइल सो ऑन द डेस्कटॉप लेट से सेल्स रिपोर्ट और लेट से सेल्स डैशबोर्ड आई विल से सेल्स डैशबोर्ड ओके नाउ वी रिक्वायर वन मोर थिंग ओके सो फॉर अ प्रॉपर डेटा मॉडलिंग मॉडलिंग पावर बी आई इट इज ऑलवेज रिकमेंडेड टू हैव डेट टेबल ओके सो आई विल गो हियर and i will create a new table with dates okay. so let's name this table call let's say tbl underscore date okay. and there is a function in dax called calendar auto now this requires month end of fiscal year so our indian fiscal year starts in april and ends with march so march means 3 3 Okay, so I would automatically get date. So it would automatically scan which financial year data is there. So currently I have only one financial year data. So one four twenty one two. If you scroll, then thirty one three twenty two. Okay, let's change the data type of this to date. It's not date time. It's only date and to short date. Okay, now we require one more column for sorting called start of the month. Okay, new column. So this column is month. Sorry, month start. Month start. So month start is now there is no function to calculate start of the month. So there is function called end of the month. Okay, so end of the month. so give me the end of the month date minus 1 means one month before and plus one day so that we will get month end month start of this month okay so and even this one is date okay and format of this is three times m four times y y okay now see Okay, April May twenty one like this. Let me save this file. Okay, now let us link up this table with the voucher table. Okay. So this date is related to this date. One to many. Okay, now let's let's start with our. visualizations okay so i would go to this screen and first our visual dashboard screen is monthly sales okay monthly sales so i would require bar chart for monthly sale so let me extend this like this okay now by default this model has all the transactions okay so in this widget i am interested in only those transactions where only sales type of ledger is debited or credited okay now how do you determine so in the table called group there is a field called primary group okay so i may i will drag this here primary group and here if you see it is the group type so even if you have multiple groups under uh, sales and ledgers under it even though the primary group would always remain sales account so i will filter this so that other transaction would not enter into this okay so it would have only sales account transaction here okay now let's drag months okay. month start in the x axis and start and i would say on the this column and let's drag amounts into y axis 
So amounts are there in accounting table. So I would drag amount field here in Y axis. Okay. Let's give the month name. So I would go here and in the X axis, let's set this to category so that month names come here. Okay, and Y axis is sales. Okay, now let's adjust the headings. So let me rename this. So this is basically month and this is amount okay and here title of this bar chart is monthly sales monthly sales let me save this Now let's have some header bar. Very simple, you know, insert text block. Our header bar would require with organization name. Let's say Excel Kida Limited. So this need to be center aligned. Font should be bigger. Okay, twenty and some background color. Good background color. Let's say something like this, and this font should be white. I'll set this to white. So it is your organization header bar. Okay, now next dashboard is or report is party wise sale or our top customers. So let me duplicate this. Let's name this top customers, customers or client, whatever you require. Okay, now here I will remove the month and convert this widget. Okay, convert this widget into uh, pie chart okay and let's drag a field called party so it's there you can search also party name okay party name here in the legends so this would have so now i have multiple parties so i i am just interesting in my top 10 parties sales okay so let me apply a filter here so let's say top n so i want just top 10 values based on the sale amount so amount so i would drag this amount by the value and let's apply this okay so let me now do some finishing so this is top 10 customers Okay, and uh, let's add this the headings also. Customers and amount. Okay, some finishing. Okay, detail labels. So uh, I will prefer this inside and like this something. Okay, part in. So I hope uh, this is clear and now the next step is let's publish this to the cloud because this data is on Azure so it can refresh on the cloud. So let me sign in. So I am already signed in. So I will publish this dashboard. Let's save this and publish it to the cloud. Test company. Let me publish this sales dashboard. Let's wait for this to publish. okay okay now you don't require even power bi desktop to view it so you can simply log on from any pc or any pc not necessary even this pc okay logging to your account and go to a website called app.powerbi.com so in the first time you would get a login screen 
and from here i can go to workspace like test company was my workspace and sales dashboard okay so i can see this sales dashboard from here okay monthly sales and and you can even automate this using task scheduler which i have already demonstrated in many of the videos so you can automate this data synchronization and you can also even you will have to next automate pulling of the data from azure sql database into this power bi using the schedules so if i go here sales dashboard and setting okay i will have to apply the schedules first let reconnect this so first time you publish you have to always enter the credentials of your azure sql database okay now i can sh automatic schedule a refresh okay automatic schedule this refresh daily with multiple times at what time you want to synchronize this data but ensure you also have the synchronization set up for tally to sql server so that so let's say nine o'clock if you are synchronizing from tally to sql server azure sql 9 30 you should be applying a schedule to synchronize data from azure sql into power bi okay so that's it please try this so friends if you like this technique don't hesitate to like this video and subscribe to the youtube channel